so we started this job yesterday and we've done it's not a pretty job because of the roof that was existing here was very rough but everything is much better than ever before the walls are covered we covered the walls with a membrane and you can see we cut the we cut this half and then we stick this in here and then we covered the walls here walls had tar before and i don't know what the paint so we made the transition here we covered the chimney see the chimney is covered everything is clean nice and the roof is a tight very tight this is never going to leak again for the next 40 years so not a clean job but it's a job that any owner can do anybody can do it it's a peeler stick the the little bit of hard is the transitions to a wall or to a, a, a parapet wall that is what makes it a little bit harder you have to work at it but the rest was so simple and easy anyway now you're gonna find some roofing guy says i'm an idiot the way i did it i know comments come and they think they know much better well depends on the price depends on what the negotiation is what the owner wants that's what you see not because that's what I want to do. If I want to do it my way, I'll strip the roof and redo everything. But, you know, you get these, uh, I would say, low-class guys, and they use cuss words on, this, uh, on their comments, and they, they, they don't have class. Don't worry about those comments. This is a roof that's going to last a long time. Anyway, just wanted to help you make your own... Uh, how you can do your own roof without having to spend a lot of money. All right, so we got the material delivered. Now, what we're doing is we're going to uh, do uh, uh, going over this roof. Now, this roof is in very bad shape. Um, when I say bad shape, it was an old built-up roof, like a hot tar, over a hot tar roof. And apparently, I'm not very familiar with hot tar roofs because it was before my time. But um, what happened is the hot tar didn't stick to the old hot tar. Let me show you. See there? There's the old hot tar and this is the new one. And this is what the built up roof looks like. See, it's built off of fiber paper and tar. So they, they pour, pour the tar and then they roll the paper out and you can see the, the layers of paper there, there, every 18 inches, they overlap each other and they build it up. But this uh, roof bubbles up and you see all the unevenness, bubbles. Look there, and then, and then it cracks. There's a lot of places where it cracks. Let me see where I can find a crack. I don't see it. And it starts leaking. See, there. Actually, so <clears throat> everybody wants to strip this roof off and then uh, do a new roof. That's the right way. That's probably be the the correct way to do it. But money, instead of twenty eight thousand, now it's like seventeen thousand. And but. The major issue was not always the roof. Uh, although that's what some leaks were, but that was not the major issue. The major issue was this. Let me show you. Look at that. Look at that. Even pine needles go in there. It's not only the rain, but if it rains, what rain comes down here goes in there. There's no way you could seal this roof up because you have to fix this edging, see? So now, I will show you how we do this edging. Would be nice to have something smooth like this. See? That would be nice. But uh, so the edging is a problem. The, the parapet wall. Parapet wall. See there? Alright, so I'm going to show you. I will show you how we fix that. But the bubbles, I'm not going to worry much about the unevenness 
we're saving the money and uh, this roof will last just as long as you would have if you stripped the roof and do it it's just not as nice but would have lasted as long so what we do is, is we try to make it nice and flat so this the bubbles don't get huge and big and make it really bad so what we do is we put screws down so here's what we do we put long screws with plates and that way So that will keep the roof tight, although uneven, but tight. Because you don't want to walk on the, and you know, feel like there's bubbles everywhere. So we make it tight. Tap sheet, is we self-adhering base. This is the base, and this is the, uh, this is the cap sheet, okay? So we're putting base down and then cap sheet. So this is an hour later, and we got the roof clean and we barely uh, got the materials delivered now it's a matter of um, getting started um, it's rough you see the roughness here that doesn't matter it really matters too much all right so uh, we can go over almost anything this two-ply system oh let me explain to you the two-ply system only works on a slanted roof. You cannot put it on a flat, flat, flat roof. This roof is slightly slanted. Want to see? Uh, maybe you can compare it to the roof on the other side. You can compare it. And you can see this is going down because look at the parapet wall. So this is a slanted roof, okay? It has about a four, I think it's a four pitch. I'm not sure. But it's pretty pitched, and so that's why the peel and stick will work very good. I want to show you. Now, if you are a homeowner or a, uh, you have your own business and you don't want to save money, this is one of the very, e one of the easiest ways to, um, to, uh, to do a roof. If you have a slanted roof, so you put a base down, and it's a peel and stick system. A little bit more expensive in material than a torch down, but very super, super easy to do. So you put your base down, you roll it out like this, and it sticks. Now this might not stick to the bottom roof, but it really doesn't matter. So you take the plastic off, you take the other plastic off, and then you keep on doing this. This is your base. And then I'll show you when we come to the cap sheet, you do the same thing. Um, but then the details where the where the proof of the pudding is in the detail. So detail is the parapet walls and any obstacles. But in this roof, there's no almost no obstacles. I see two vent pipes, and that's it. Plus the parapet walls. So that's the only thing that's going to take us a little bit of time. But the base, very simple, very easy. So if you uh, want to save money, you want to do it yourself. You get your son. You get your daughter. And you do what I'm showing you on this video. Very simple, very effective. One of the best roofs. But it has to be slanted. If it's slightly, uh, there's going to be ponding water, pulling water, then you cannot do it. Then you're going to have trouble. So this is a slanted roof. Very simple to do. And it looks pretty good once you're done. Even if the roof is uneven, you can look at this roof. Very uneven. All the bubbles and and everything around. There's a lot of things going on in this room. But I'm screwing it. So inexperienced uh, person, look at him. He, how long, uh, have you done this before, Louis? Never. <laughs> no, no, I did one time, one time. Yeah, you did the, oh yeah, 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 in Brooklyn, one right? Time in New York, yeah. Yeah, that's it, but that's it. You understand, nothing. Anybody can do it. Huh? If I can do it, anybody can do it. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. <laughs> <laughs> okay, there you got it. Out of to save money, if you want to save money, roofers is gonna be mad at me. Uh, roofing contractors will be mad at me to show this to you how you can save money. But um, I'm here to help anybody. So look how you can do it and get it done. It's a parapet walls is gonna be a little bit more trickier, but um, I'll show you and you'll know it's not a big deal. We got the. Uh, base partial done and then now we're doing the cap sheet so so here's the base this is the original roof 
put screws down to, to take the bubbles, make it easy out a little bit. And then you get your base over that, and then you got your cap sheet over that. It's starting to look nice. A little bit of a ripples here and there, but not too bad. So we got, um, we started at nine o'clock this morning, and we got 24 rolls laid out, base and rolls. Now it's not the prettiest roof because uh, it was very uneven, but it came out pretty good. Look at it. So we got it all laid out on the top here. And then now we have to, This the top is nice here. This is very nice. We're covering the top here and um, this is nice. Now, here's where the big deal is because people don't know how to deal with this and they put tar let me show you they put tar everywhere here's what i do i cut i cut this section away chop it off with a hammer and this becomes more flat and i put my membrane over this to the other side so let me show you how i do it Lewis, come and take a video Take the rip off like that, and that's how I get this nice and even. And I put uh, some tar in here, and I put my membrane over there. Yeah, Breaks, huh? Mm -hmm. Not from us, right? No, no, no. no. <laughs> okay. We don't need it. <laughs> Start at the top. Push it. All the way. There you go. So. Lewis tried it, put it in, put it in, okay, not, not on the rib, just, just in the side of the rib, yeah, make sure, yeah. Use the bottom, do the same thing. Just like that. See that? And this will never, never ever leak. Right? So, that's how I'll make a transition from a parapet wall to a roof that has those clay caps on it. And I tell you, it's a a very good method I've used it many times and it works very good so look at and that's it anyway just wanted to help you make your own uh, 
how you can do your own roof without having to spend a lot of money. Okie dokies. Have a good day. Please subscribe.